subscribe to our channel. Amazing information about our mysterious world awaits you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Nuclear explosions are some of the most powerful and destructive events known to humanity. The energy released by a nuclear bomb is sufficient to cause widespread devastation, including destroying entire cities and killing millions of people. But can a nuclear explosion be so powerful that it can destroy an entire planet? This is a question that has been asked many times, and the answer is not as straightforward as one might think. In this article, we will explore the science behind nuclear explosions and the factors that determine whether or not a nuclear explosion can destroy a planet. The Science of Nuclear Explosions To understand whether or not a nuclear explosion can destroy a planet, we must first understand the science behind nuclear explosions. A nuclear explosion occurs when the nucleus of an atom is split apart, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy is released in the form of radiation, heat, and a shockwave that can cause significant damage to the surrounding area. The amount of energy released by a nuclear explosion is determined by the size of the bomb, the type of fuel used, and the efficiency of the explosion. The energy is typically measured in terms of the amount of TNT that would be required to release the same amount of energy. For example, a 1 megaton nuclear bomb would release the same amount of energy as 1 million tons of TNT. Can a nuclear explosion destroy a planet? The short answer is no, a nuclear explosion cannot destroy a planet. Planets are incredibly massive objects that would require an enormous amount of energy to destroy. The energy released by even the most powerful nuclear bomb is insignificant compared to the energy required to overcome the gravitational binding energy of a planet. The gravitational binding energy of a planet is the energy required to completely disassemble it into its constituent parts. This energy is determined by the mass and radius of the planet and is estimated to be on the order of 2 times 10 to the 32 joules for Earth. To put that into perspective, the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar Bomba, released about 2 times 10 to the 17 joules of energy, which is more than a billion times less than the energy required to destroy Earth. It's important to note that a nuclear explosion could cause significant damage and destruction to a planet's surface, but it would not be enough to completely destroy the planet. The shock wave from a nuclear explosion could cause earthquakes and tsunamis, and the radiation and fallout could have long-lasting effects on the planet's environment and biosphere. Conclusion In conclusion, a nuclear explosion cannot destroy a planet. The energy released by a nuclear bomb is insignificant compared to the energy required to overcome the gravitational binding energy of a planet. While a nuclear explosion could cause significant damage and destruction to a planet's surface, it would not be enough to completely destroy the planet. It's essential to remember the devastating effects of nuclear weapons, and we must work towards a world free of these weapons to ensure the safety and security of our planet.